Hey everybody, my name is Kevin Lim. I'm the CEO of Lim Geomatics. Today I'm talking with Michael Morgan from Tolco Industries. Michael, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you, Kevin? Good, good. Maybe introduce uh, our, uh, introduce yourself to our listeners. My name is Michael Morgan. I am a Woodlands Operations Supervisor based in High Level, Alberta for Tolco Industries. And as one of the early adopters of well, one of the first clients of Lim Geomatics Op Tracker Box Plus solution, um, what problems are you trying to solve or address by, by adopting uh, this particular solution? In high level, we are in a remote, remote northern community where we have limited access to our working area. We try to keep our costs down a variety of different ways. We've transfer, transitioned to a digital only model where we no longer have an, hang ribbons in the bush and Op Tracker allows us to take that data that is collected in the field, put it into a digital package, and then transfer that digital package into a working machine in the bush, which allows us to reduce the cost of hanging all those ribbons. And it saves us time, allowing us to get more work done in a day. Our second issue is that due to our limited access in the winters, we have a very short working period. So we need to be as efficient as possible while we are doing our harvest operations. And OpTracker Box Plus allows us to monitor the efficiency of each machine on an ongoing basis to make sure we're getting the most out of each machine while it's working. Can you tell us about the, your journey with introducing OpTracker Box Plus to Toco? Introducing the system, there's always fear. Our big fear was with our contractors. They were scared that we were gonna use the system to be sort of a backseat driver in the machine, always looking over their shoulder, making sure what they were doing. To overcome that fear, we gave them access to the day-to-day -day operational data so that they can use it as a tool as well to increase their own productivity, measure their efficiency, and make any changes or adaptations that they need to do on the fly while we're working in that short window during the winter. So whenever we make investments in technology, we're, we're always, always looking for benefits. And can you say by deploying Op Tracker Box Plus that uh, there's, there's a couple benefits you're already seeing immediately? Maybe you can share some of those. So by monitoring the efficiency of the machines, we can figure out when a machine is no longer being efficient. A lot of our contractors are new, running a fleet of newer machines, but some of the older machines, which are more maintenance heavy, um, they break down a lot. You can show them empirical data that that machine has lived its useful life and it's time to replace that machine. We can also monitor the head size of the machine so they're not spending significant dollars buying the biggest cutting head that they can get. So thinking of when you, since you've adopted OpTracker Box Plus, is there anything else you'd want to add a lesson learned or an afterthought or, or some pro tip? Getting the buy-in from the contractors is the important part. Showing them the benefit to themselves as companies is a real good way to get them to buy into the system and to be really supportive of it. So if you were to take OpTracker Box Plus away from the folks, do you think that there would be uh, arms up in the air today? They would lose their minds. I get fairly regular phone calls from those guys if the slightest thing goes wrong because they're so addicted to it now.